Braylon's embarrassed because she had to wear these funky shorts for her x-ray. But once we show them. Krispy Kreme treat before going to school has to be the best thing ever, right? Braylon's doctor's office. Braylon has been having some problems with her left knee. Both knees. Is it both knees? Okay, both knees. She probably a couple months ago started complaining her knee locks into place for probably seconds that feels like minutes and her knee will just lock into place. And then obviously that's a little scary, but it also hurts. And then once she finally gets it unlocked, uh, it's a little painful for a little bit for her. Yeah, it like pops and it's a little painful. So we kind of let it go for a couple months. It's one of those things where, you know, you don't want to just jump right away to conclusion that something's going on. So you kind of just give it some time to see if it resolves itself. And the other day she started complaining that it was hurting her again. So we don't want to make anything worse if it is something. So we thought it would probably be a good idea to get it looked at. Braylon plays a lot of soccer. She's on a team that's very competitive. And so they're practicing three to four days a week, plus games and tournaments. So she is playing a lot of soccer. And knee injuries are very, very common in soccer. So we just wanna make sure everything's okay. It could just be um, because she's getting taller. Uh, Braylon has grown several inches in a very short period of time. Uh, so it could be just like growing pain, something with a growth spurt, um, maturing, like all sorts of things could be possibilities or she could have done something to her knee. So we just wanna get it checked out. She has a tournament this coming weekend, so that's another reason why we're like, we better go get this looked at, just in case maybe she has to wear a brace or we need to get an x-ray or something done. Uh, it gives us a couple days before we leave for this big tournament. We're gonna get in here and we will let you guys know how it goes. Raylan got put in the little Disney princess room. <laughs> and he's so cute. Ow. She got lucky since she's able to pull up her pants like she does not have to put a gown on. <laughs> it's okay. She's not going to be feeling your legs. <laughs> we just got done at the doctor's office. Braylon is being referred to a orthopedic specialist. They did just a little bit of like feeling around the knee, did like some different like a mo different moves or whatever, just to see if they could find anything. Since it was just her pediatric office, they're very limited to what they can do there. Um, they didn't feel any type of like fluid on the kneecap or uh, any like loss of movement or anything like that. So because she is having the popping and the locking of the knee and pain here and there. There could be a lot of different things. Braylon has grown almost three inches in a year. So the um, growth plates are still open um, at her age. So it could be just an overuse that's causing some of that. Uh, she needs to make sure that she's stretching a lot better before and after practices and games. When she's done practice and comes home, we need to start putting ice on the knees. And then right before she goes to bed, we need to start doing heat. Uh, we do have a heating pad, so we just need to start applying heat to the knees before bed. Uh, but they also want her to go to an orthopedic specialist just so they can look to see, because it could also be um, meniscus related, related. So it could be just a small tear in the meniscus or it could be just a small tear or uh, some type of injury to the ACL. There's so many tendons in the knee that it could truly be anything. We are so hungry. It is now 1130 and we still have not had breakfast or lunch. So we are so hungry. Can you guess where Braylon wants to go for lunch? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Um, so yeah. It's our meme now because my mom always 
Whiskers, Chick Fil A. Chick -fil -A. <laughs> that is where we're headed, and Starbucks. Yep. Okay, so we just got Starbucks. Can you guess what we got? A hot tea and a venti. I think they messed up on mine. Strawberry acai with lemonade, and Braylon got a cake pop. And then we went to Target, and guess what I got? I'm going to bring so we're open it together. And we got this really cute radio flyer. We didn't videotape in Target, um, but we got AJ a really cute, what was it? Like a radio flyer. Uh, it's a four-in-one. It's like we can sit him in it and push him, and then as he gets older, he can start pedaling it, and then it turns into a tricycle. We're going to go home and put it together. He is there, so we will... Um, Yay! Yeah, we will show you uh, us putting that together and him trying it out for the okay, first ready? time. Stuff is fine. Okay, I need to order our Chick-fil-A. What do you want? Uh, Three-piece chicken strips. Three-piece chicken strips? Yeah. Melissa? You better get something good. I mean it. <gasps> I already have this one, but I got a baby bell. I never get baby bell in the. How many did you have already? A baby bell, just one. Yeah. And we got coffee. Coffee. <gasps> Do I have this one? I don't know. I've never seen that one before. I don't. I don't think I have this one. I don't know. So one thing I did forget to mention to you guys about her doctor's appointment. The doctor that we just saw. What did they suggest you do? And your eyes went like this. Oh, two, two weeks off the soccer. The doctor suggested that she takes two weeks off just to let whatever is going on heal I'm and try to not overwork it. Obviously, she said it was our preference. Knowing that Braylon is very involved in soccer, she knew that we probably would not want to do that at this point in time. Uh, until we got referred out to the orthopedic specialist and to find out exactly what is going on. So we're just going to be really, really careful with doing the stretching, the ice, the heat pad at night, just to make sure that we're doing all that and not making anything worse until we can get into the orthopedic. But she has that really big soccer tournament this weekend. So she's like, there's no way I am missing this soccer tournament. So I am not. And the doctor said that was fine. She said, again, it was just her recommendation, but it had to be, you know, parent preference. We're going to head home, eat. I'm going to make that phone call, call the orthopedics, see how quickly we can get her in. Look who's here to visit us today. Say hi. Look at the little cutie cutie. Look at the little cutie cutie. Are you so cute? Are you so cute? Are you so cute? Are you watching cartoons? Huh? Where to begin? AJ, did you learn something new? AJ. No! Give me a high five. <laughs> now you're saying dad dad. You don't want all stinky dad dad. You getting so big. Look at those teeth. Say I have six teeth already. Huh. Say I'm crawling everywhere, pulling myself up everywhere. Soon you're gonna be walking. Alright, that didn't take very long to put together. AJ, what do you think? AJ, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Look, you got a little place for your sippy cup and your ah! puppy. Oh, 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 okay, get moving, Braylon, get moving. Yay, AJ. He likes it. He's like, I'm chilling in this thing. <gasps> it's baby. Oh! Let me see what you got in there. Did you get some puffies? You better watch it. Cash is gonna eat them. Road keep snacks. Road snacks, Cash. Yes, we see you. Uh, yes, we know. We know. 
Bye, AJ. Bye-bye. You got your snack? Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Pit stop for the snack. Man, you got the hook up there, boy. You got the hook up. Oh, dropped one on the ground again. Are you driving it? You styling and profiling? Huh? You want me to drive it. Lean back. Chilling, huh? That's yeah. Cool, guys. Cash is like, you guys are crazy. Mm. He smiles when he's on the and then he cries around the corner. Here he comes again. <laughs> He's laughing. Yelling about. He likes it. Yay! AJ, can you clap? Say yay! Here, Jordan, yay. push him around. Here, Jordan, push him around. Jordan, push your son around. Show everybody how good you are going. Jordan can make appearance on our video. Yeah. There's Jordan. Hey, mom, AJ. Are you feeling left out, huh? The baby gets all the attention all the time. Yeah. Bye bye. All right. We are done. We are done with. He's getting too mad. All done. All done. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. So it is the next morning. We are tired. We are actually up earlier than what Braylon gets up for our school for an 8 a.m. doctor's appointment. So we're looking kind of rough. We're looking tired. We uh, are glad today is the last day of the week for for us. Tomorrow morning we are leaving to head to Charleston. West Virginia for Braylon's first soccer tournament of the season. It's about a five hour drive for us. So thankfully Braylon was already scheduled off school tomorrow. So that worked out perfect, but it is a very rainy, gloomy, just blah day today, which makes it even worse when you have to get up earlier than what you normally do on a regular basis. So we're headed in to see the orthopedic and hopefully we get some good news. I just took her in to get an x-ray just to check everything out. There's Braylon's x-ray. We can't tell at the time if anything is wrong. We're going to wait for the doctor to come in, but everything looks pretty healthy to me. But again, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Braylon's embarrassed because she had to wear these funky shorts for her x-ray. Why don't you show them? Show them. Just show them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can see a little bit of the side. <laughs> She's so embarrassed. We're gonna sit in here and wait for the doctor. I've got to fill out tons and tons of paperwork. You guys can see the back of them. Look, this is stylish. <laughs> I know, we are both so tired. Pretty neat little charts in here of what the inside of all your bones and stuff look like. The ankle, there's the knee. Right here. Look, nothing's wrong. This is all the knee stuff. Oh. That's okay. If there's nothing wrong, he can give you some ideas of what to do to cause it from not locking and popping so much. I wanted to do that. You like that? Yeah. It, like, pops. <laughs> okay, we are done. That took a while, didn't it? So, Braylon did have an x-ray done, and the doctor did come in and talk with us about the, the x-ray. X-ray doesn't really show like the tendons and stuff like that. So the concern of the meniscus was not able to be seen on an X-ray, but they were able to see that her growth plates are still open. I'm five two. Yeah, she is five foot two now. For anybody that wants to know that, she has grown two inches. I mean, an inch. three. Well, an inch since December. Um, but she's grown now four inches since last. December four inches that's crazy that's exactly why we have had to buy her all new clothes shoes she has just been growing like crazy on the x-ray it did show that all of her growth plates are still open uh, that should be a couple more years that it's like that so that could definitely he said be causing a little bit of the pain um, he did a whole bunch of moving around the yeah knee. He moved my knee yeah, like slid her kneecap, uh, pushed on some pressure points, 
nothing popped out at him um, in regards to the bone or anything that he could see through the x-ray or feeling or whatever. So he does want to do an MRI on the meniscus, which everything has been pointing everything has been pointing back to the meniscus. The only thing that he is like mis like it's a mystery because what he's telling me is if there was a tear in the meniscus, she would be having the locking and popping of the knee on a more regular basis and Raylan's is so sporadic. So the reason he wants to do an MRI is because there is in you know, doctors talk and talk and talk and they give you so much information. Like to try to retain it all in that short period of time is just impossible. But basically the meniscus um, is kind of like a horseshoe shape around the, the bone. And sometimes people are born with the meniscus all the way across, right? Isn't that what he was saying? It's not like a horseshoe, it's like all the way across. And sometimes that can, um, like get irritated and tear or whatever just because of the way that basically she was born like that. So it could, um, that could be what's causing it. I don't know if that sounds confusing to you or not. Using the medical terminology words that he was telling me, no, I can't, no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't really remember. Um, but what I can tell you is that it is definitely uh, leaning towards the meniscus. Good news though good news she does not have to take this weekend off uh, there's no concern at this time that she needs to be missing practice or games or anything like that due to the fact that it's not an everyday occurrence the pain though that she's getting every once in a while is growing pains which is due to the growth plate not being fully closed yet it's more of the popping and locking of the concern that we're looking at right now. That's what we're looking into. Uh, her knee should not be locking into place, especially at her age. So this is gonna be an ongoing process for the next couple weeks. She has the MRI in the next week, and then in two weeks she has a follow-up with the orthopedic. So we will keep you guys posted in another video of how everything is going with her diagnosis and her uh, recovery process or healing process um, and then we'll go from there. If there's so, even anything wrong. Yeah, if there is even anything wrong. It could possibly just be the way that her knee, her meniscus is on her knee and that's just something she's just going to have to deal with basically. Braylon lets me take her to Dunkin Donuts since she did such a good job at this doctor's appointment. But did she really do a good job? Because when the doctor came in, the girl like crawled back in her skin and wouldn't even say a word. And then he started asking her about, now I know that you have friends. What are your friends' names? Of course, she did tell him that. And he's like, I know you and your friends are making your TikTok videos and your TikTok challenges. And I know you're not sitting there like you're doing right now with me and just like going like this. And then she started laughing, but she still wouldn't talk to him. So I had to do all the talking. So. Oh, well, you guys ever done it and just dad, so you have to get him some <laughs> So she's been asking me to go to Dunkin' Donuts the whole time we've been in the doctor's office. And I'm like, really, does she deserve it when she couldn't even talk to the doctor at 11 I years did. old? So we get out. And I have two missed text messages. One from Scott, one from Jordan. Both of them asking me to bring them home coffee. So now I'm like, okay, so now I have to go to Dunkin' Donuts to get them coffees to take home. Where did we go to Brio? Now I guess I'm going to have to... Brio. Now I guess Brio. I'm going to have to get her something before she goes into school. You're going to go there and get a donut? That's what I said. No, yeah, I want to get a donut right, I'll just there. get her coffee there. All right, change of plans. We just drove past Krispy Kreme. She forgot there was a Krispy Kreme on the side of town, so we're going to head in there. It is a school day, so Braylon is going to school. She's just going into school late. I have a lot of packing to get done. I haven't started packing yet for our weekend away for this soccer tournament, so I need to focus on that. I need to go to the grocery store and buy food and water and Gatorades and all that kind of stuff for this weekend, and then go back and pick her up from school, and then she has soccer practice tonight. They're doing a shortened soccer practice due to the fact that they have this tournament this weekend. And that'll about wrap up our day. Krispy Kreme treat before going to school has to be the best thing ever, right? So what'd you get? With some good stuff. Chalky Moo. True Moo. If you've ever, ever had, if you've never ever had True Moo, this is the best chocolate milk you can ever, ever find. Then we got a half a 
dozen because I insisted on it. You need to get it open? Mm mm mm. First Feel them. They are like. Okay, so. Melt in your mouth. Don't do that. Just pick one and I eat it. I was getting this one. Oh my gosh, they're like melting in your mouth. Now I want one of those and not my Boston Cream Filled. I mean, this whole dog, I mean, this whole half dozen. I'm so hungry. That's right. I like my donut too. Mine's Is this good. hot? Mine's not hot. <laughs> That's just yummy goodness inside of there. Braylon is back from school. I just picked her up. I still have not gotten a call from the doctor's office for the MRI. I was hoping that I would have that information by the time I picked her up from school, just to let you guys know like how far out it'll be before we post about that. But I don't have that information yet. So just keep watching. I will definitely give an update on that. So. We plan to vlog the soccer tournament, so we will post about that. We are staying in a new hotel we've never stayed in before. This is actually a new place we've never been. I've never been to where we're going, so a little excited about checking out new places. Um, I'm all about traveling, and I love seeing all different parts of the United States. We'll let you know how her team does, uh, all of our outings and fun things that we're going to do in Charleston. I know it's going to be a good time. So make sure to continue to watch. If you haven't yet, please follow us on Instagram. That is in the description below. It does and have our, our TikTok. Yes. And I'm going to be adding our TikTok. We finally got a TikTok account. So I'm gonna be adding that down into the description as well. So make sure you follow us on TikTok. TikTok is new for us. Uh, Braylon has her own personal TikTok, but we're not gonna, we're not sharing that. We're only gonna be sharing the yeah, family thing. channel TikTok account for now. And I've never had a TikTok, so this should be interesting. So you guys will probably get some good laughs at me for, um, Braylon always gets good laughs at me when she tries to get me on her personal TikTok. So it should be funny. Uh, we'll definitely get the rest of the family on there as well. So anyway, so make sure you follow us on Instagram, TikTok. If you haven't and you're watching this, please make sure to like, subscribe. Always put the thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. We love reading the comments. And we will see you at the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Keep a smiling face. Peace.